In the race for the roundhouse, what the gubernatorial candidates say they would do to get our state on the right track. Economic growth to our west, north, and east. Each of our neighboring states booming again after the country's recession, but the land of enchantment, not so enchanting when it comes to your child's first career job or maybe your next one. Sure, because of the tax revenues generated from each job here, the state has a responsibility to create jobs. But is it truly a public sector problem, or should the private sector be the go-to when it comes to bringing jobs here? Republican Steve Pierce says because college is not for everyone, we need to focus more on careers that can start at 18. A mechanic right now in Albuquerque will easily make six figures. A truck driver in the southeast part of the state, over $100,000 a year. So these are not low-paying jobs, so the skilled trades are going to be an essential element of what we do in the education program under Governor Pierce. Democrat Michelle Lujan Grisham agrees to a certain extent, saying jobs for young adults who do not see going to college are not only a potentially good paying option, but right now those jobs exist. They just need people to fill them. This is everyone's responsibility. Look, we, we are not investing in having a ready workforce. We have 9,000 jobs, maybe today even more, that are mid-level tech jobs in our state, which is to your point, those are not, uh, to be trained and qualified for those jobs doesn't mean that you need a bachelor's degree or a college degree. New Mexico's unemployment rate is currently at 4.6 percent. It is down more than a full point in the last year. The national unemployment rate is 3.9 percent.